Hey, what's up everybody? It's Richie here, and today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. Something to do with how I record videos, because I made a, a, a video about my recording settings before, but I've changed them, and I'm a lot happier with the results. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make OBS record um, GPU-based recordings. Basically, this will perform like... Um, Shadow Play, I think it's called NVIDIA Share Now, or whatever the AMD equivalent to that is, and it will be inside of OBS. So you'll get much better performance than CPU-based recording. Your files will be a little bigger, but there will be a giant difference in what and how you can record. For example, on this, with my old settings, I could only record 720p, and now I can record 1080p, 30fps, with actually less lag than I was getting before, which is really cool. So we're just going to jump right into the settings really quick. For this, you'll of course need OBS Studio, and you'll need a computer with either an NVIDIA or an AMD graphics card. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this on an NVIDIA card. It's pretty self-explanatory to how you do it on an AMD. You just select um, the other one, I think, and... Let's start. There's nothing there. There's nothing important there, because this isn't for streaming. This is for local recording. Though, you could stream with this, but I don't know the settings for that, and I'd have to set it up differently. So you can see we're recording with this right now, so I can't change anything, but you're going to put your output mode to advanced. You're going to set your type to standard, set up whatever recording path you want, and then pick MP4 for your recording format. Though that's not what we're dealing with. What we're dealing with is clicking this encoder right there. It's probably saying like X246 or something and switching it to the NVENC H264 encoder. Set your resolution to whatever you want. I'm using it in 1080p. And if you have an AMD card, I'm not sure what it's called, but there'll be an encoder that's equivalent to this for AMD. From there, we're going to have a constant bitrate set up and bring our bitrate all the way up to 40,000. And everything there is just default, main, auto, two pass encoding, um, two frame buffers. And that that's actually your entire settings. So what does this do? This essentially switches your recording or the, the burden of your recording from your processor, your CPU, to your GPU, your graphics processor which means it's a lot less laggy generally because your graphics processor is good at processing graphics. And I'm not entirely sure of exactly how all of it works, but this will, like I said before, basically get you performance equivalent to NVIDIA Share or Shadow Play, whatever it's called, or the AMD equivalent of that. So you're going to have slightly bigger files, but your recordings will be way way smoother. And that's how I record on my computer. So far, it's worked really great for me. And I can record, I have a fairly weak graphics card, an NVIDIA um, GTX 960M, and it can record 1080p without any lag. So I hope this helped you. If you did, please hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. But until the next time, this has been Richie, and I'm out. I'll see ya.